Hello, this is Everyday Sentences in Lithuanian Series, and it's our sixth lesson, Sportas. Sportas. It's about sports. If it's the first time that you watch a video from this series, check out the introduction video, because there are some useful tips and direct links to all of these other videos. Now, the first five lessons were with dialogues or mini dialogues or a monologue, but now, from now on, we'll have sentences. Because sentences, everyday sentences in Lithuanian, is the main, uh, teaching you everyday sentences is the main purpose of this series. And now, today we'll learn 20 sentences, which you will be able to use in your everyday conversations about sports, with a Lithuanian speaking person. Let's start learning. Artu sportuoji? Artu sportuoji? Do you do exercise or sports? Taip, man labai patinka sportuoti. Taip, man labai patinka sportuoti. Yes, I like to do sports very much because labai means very or in this case labai patinka. I like it very much. Kartai sportuoju. Kartai sportuoju. Sometimes I do sports. Pastaruoju metu nesportuoju. Pastaruoju metu nesportuoju. Lately, I don't do sports exercise. Pastaruoju metu means uh, in the recent time, literally, because pastarasis means uh, latest and pastaruoju. Metu means in time and pastruoju metu in the latest time. On the latest time, lately, I don't do sports exercise. Ar darai rytinę mankštą? Ar darai rytinę mankštą? Do you do morning exercises or warm up? Kiekvieną rytą mankštų nuosi. Kiekvieną rytą mankštų nuosi. I exercise every morning. Kiekvieną rytą, every morning is put uh, as the first element of this sentence. Uh, because this is emphasis, you put emphasis on the thing that you do exercise every morning. That you exercise every morning. You put emphasis on this, you highlight this. And that's why it's uh, the first element in this sentence, because you put emphasis on this, on these words. Darau apšilima. Darau apšilima. I do a warm-up, or in the process, you can say, I'm doing a warm-up at this moment, or I do a warm-up regularly, or at this moment. Ryte padarau dešimt mankštos pratimų. Ryte padarau dešimt mankštos pratimų. In the morning, ryte, I do ten warm-up dešimt mankštos Pratimu. Mankšta is a warm-up and mankštos genitive case. Exercises of warm-up. Mankštos pratimu. Genitive case. And this is rytinė mankšta accusative case. Rytinė, by the way, is an adjective. Accus adjective in accusative case and mankšta noun, which means warm-up in accusative case. And mankštintis, mankštinuosi, means I do exercise. These are related words with the same roots. Mankštintis means you do exercise. Mankštintis, mankštinasi, mankštinosi. Uh, reflexive verb. This is, this is a reflexive verb. Mėgstu bėgioti. Mėgstu bėgioti. Bėgti means to run and bėgioti means to run or jog and so on. Begati means to run regularly. Ryte nubėgu vieną kilometrą. Ryte nubėgu vieną kilometrą. In the morning, I jog or run one kilometer. Accusative case. Vieną kilometrą. Vakar nubėgau du kilometrus. Vakar nubėgau du kilometrus. Yesterday, I ran two kilometers. Du kilometrus. Accusative plural. 
Nubego means I ran. This is a finished action. That's why it has prefix no. Nubego means uh, or in the morning I run. A regular a regular finished action. Nubego, nubego. Present tense, uh, past tense. So uh, nubekte means to run. A finished action. And bekte or begyoti, a continuous action. A regular action. The last sentence in the slide. Begimas geras užsijemimas. Begimas geras užsijemimas. Running or jogging is a good activity. Užsijimti means to to do something, to take up. Uh, and užsijemimas is activity. You see the reflexive particle, si. Arturi dvirati? Arturi dvirati? Do you have a bike? Taip, kasdien važinėjau dviračių. Taip, kasdien važinėjau dviračių. Again, you put every day before the word I ride. You say every day I ride bike. Because, again, it's a little emphasis that you ride your bike every day. So that's why you put this word before the verb. Beto daug vaikštų. Beto daug vaikštų. Besides, be means without and to that. So literally it means without that. Without that. And we translate it as besides. I walk much. And again, emphasis on the word a lot or much. In this case, you say I walk much. And uh, you put emphasis on the on the fact that you walk much, much. So that's why you put it before the verb again. Kasdien važinėjau, daug vaikštų. You put the sub, uh, sub modifier, the, the word that modifies the verb, you put it before the verb because the emphasis on the modifier that modifies the verb. So you put it before the verbs in these two sentences. Last sentence. Einu į sporto klubą. Einu į sporto klubą. It means I go to a sports club or I attend a sports club. Or at this moment I'm going to a sports club. To the sports club. Mėgstu žiūrėti futbolo rungtynes. Mėgstu žiūrėti futbolo rungtynes. Mėgstu žiūrėti krepšino rungtynes. Mėgstu žiūrėti krepšino rungtynes. I like to watch football or basketball matches. Kokios, kokios sporto šakos tau labiausiai patinka? Kokios sporto šakos tau labiausiai patinka? What branches of sport you like the most? Uh, sporto šakos means branches of sport. Sporto uh, genitive case. Branches of sport. You say, if you mean what kinds of sport, volleyball, basketball, football, uh, swimming, and so on. These are the sporto shakos, branches of sport. In English you say sports, but in Lithuanian you say sporto shakos, branches of sport, literally, which means the kinds of sport, this, uh, several different kinds, basketball, football, volleyball, and so on. What branches of sport you like the most? Koko sporto šakos tau labiausiai patinka? Let's go to the next sentence. Labiausiai žai... I'm sorry. Dažniausiai žaidžiu tinklinį, krepšinį ir futbolą. Dažniausiai žaidžiu tinklinį, krepšinį ir futbolą. Usually I play volleyball, basketball and football. Mėgstu plaukioti, lankau baseiną. Mėgstu plaukioti, lankau baseiną. I like swimming. Plaukti means to swim and plaukioti means just like bekti, begioti, plaukti, plaukioti. The same suffix, o, o. Bekti, begioti, plaukti, plaukioti. To swim regularly. Mėgstu plaukioti. I like swimming in general. Lankau baseina. It means I attend a swimming pool literally. 
and this means that you go to the swimming pool regularly you can translate it as I go to uh, a swimming pool uh, regularly Lanko Basain Uh, these uh, were the uh, 21 sentences and I hope they will improve your conversations, your Lithuanian and for more lessons check out my other videos and we'll see you in the 7th video.